The more HP challenge with recovery on Stone Shape are gonna be insane. Yeah, that's the point. Like, I think the game will get a lot like more polar in terms of um, things going on in it. Um, so like, you'll have people that are super tanky, and you'll have things that are like super squishy, and like you'll have things that are just like insane in terms of like movement or, or like build factor, where you have like a bunch of shit. I don't know. I I think it's gonna be juiced. Because polarity in a game is like pretty pretty good. Eh? Where you have a lot of diversity in what people are running. So like extremes are extreme, but there's many different versions of the extreme. So like you can have extreme movement, but you also have like extreme damage, and you also have like extreme like variety and like extreme like tankiness. So like everything is just like pushed further, I guess. That's Pog. Speed, momentum, frog must be Russian. Streamer, rusher himself, rush frog. It's frog. It's rush. He's rushing. He, and he's 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 a frog. Yo guys, I won't talk about this for a year, but I mainly focused on the gameplay stuff. Not uh, anyway, that. the TLDR is that we finally arrived to the first juicers patch of Spellbreak. Oh my god! I and the official release date for it is twenty second. But basically, they're adding a bunch oh, of new no, content: Halloween insane. skins, deathmatch mode, badges. Uh, a bunch of stuff. But most importantly, they're adding three new three point talents, which are Vigor, Ambidextrous, and Foresight. Because one of which being Ambidextrous, that allows you to have a passive from your offhand gauntlet. Uh, basically, like Wind Jump, Combust, Potential Energy, uh, your level one gauntlet ability from, from the class. And this is huge, because even though it's fairly simple, it has a lot of depth to the game, kind of bringing it back to what the game used to be. You can offhand wind for utility again, you can have alacrity, you can do bedrock with wind tech. I, I, dude, it's actually so exciting. But anyway, the other two talents are... Um, one is like Scout Recon, which is basically like map hack, which might be useful in squads. Uh, and then Vigor, which gives you more flat health, which I guess is not very exciting. But all my homies love Ambidextrous. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you off with some banger pyro gameplay, and hopefully you enjoy the video. Oh yeah, and almost forgot, they're announcing stuff every day, like building up to the launch, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. I'm actually starting to believe in Spellbreak being a successful game again. Let's fucking go, boys! Rude Newt. Wait a second, that's a frog. Newts are like, uh... I think it's when the frog is like the polywog, and when it's just born, it's a newt, I think? A new salamander in the sub-friendly polarodyne. The terrestrial juvenile phase is called an F. Unlike other members of the family, salamander array, newts are semi-aquatic, alternating between aquatic and terrestrial habits. All aquatic shit! That's rude. Holy shit. I'm so sorry, Nick. It had to be done. Look at him go. Oh. That's just rude. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. 
He had a legend shadow step. He outpaced me with a shadow step. Like, that's incredible, man. I'll just run shadow step for now. It's literally the same cooldown as Uncommon Dash. Any sky rats in the chat? Wait, what? Funka W. Squeak! New Jones look interesting, I guess. Yeah, they're Pog. They actually mix up the game a lot, I think. Uh, which is, like, their whole point. I don't know, it's super smart to, like, make Ambi as a talent. Because it's a one very simple way to... Um, it's one simple way to, like, mix up the game a lot without having to add a whole lot of stuff, you know what I mean? It's actually so smart that they made that. How did I miss that? Hey, spring stuff. Yeah, it changes up everything, exactly. Hey, dash. If I could hear ice charging, that would be dope, but I can't. And I can't sacrifice music. Huh? It's too important. Huh? Oh my god, he walked over the juice. Look at him read. Huh? Fuck. Oh, shoot -ah. Juiced. Whoever developed that, honestly, they're so smart. They have like 5,000 IQ. HP talent with recovery on Stone Shape are gonna be insane. Yeah, that's the point. Like, I think the game will get a lot like more polar in terms of um, things going on in it. Um, so like, you'll have people that are super tanky, and you'll have things that are like super squishy, and like you'll have things that are just like insane in terms of like movement or, or like build factor, where you have like a bunch of shit. I don't know. I I think it's gonna be juiced. Because polarity in a game is like pretty pretty good. Eh? Where you have a lot of diversity in what people are running. So like extremes are extreme, but there's many different versions of the extreme. It's like you can have extreme movement, but you also have like extreme damage, and you also have like extreme like variety and like extreme like tankiness. So like everything is just like pushed further, I guess. That's Pog. We have a tank talent, support talent, and a Pepega talent. Ah, yes. I would like to be a talented Pepega. It's not a bot. Oh no. I feel bad now. I I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get outbroken in the back. Watch. Three, two, no, oh, never mind. I missed. Oh, he is in this. What do you know? Oh, 
What? He went through his shoulder. <laughs> Shit, I lost him. He's in this. Chat, look for him. I don't see him. Oh, I found him. You think you oh shit, what the? Big game. Big kills. But yeah, I'm super looking forward to the new talents. I think it's gonna like, change the game a lot. Uh, in towards like variety, which is huge. And then there's probably gonna be needs for some like, adjustments in terms of balance. But I think that's very minor compared to what you get. Cause you get more, like diversity and stuff. 